GMRS ghost antennas. Are they any good? Probably asked yourself that same question because I did. A couple weeks back, I put a 5 8 gain antenna on top of my 4Runner and it works fantastic. I couldn't be happier with the coverage. Works great. But I've always wanted to know if those ghost antennas work because that 5 8 gain antenna, it's a little bit tough to get through the car wash. So I ordered up a ghost antenna and it just came in yesterday. And today we're gonna test it out and see how it works. We wanna see how much loss of performance there is because this is a 3 dB, that's a 5 dB outside on my 4Runner. So there is gonna be a little bit of a loss, but we wanna see if this is acceptable because this is way easier to carry around on the top of your car, that 5 dB, 5 8 wave antenna. Let's go do some testing about antennas is everybody's situation is different. You might need a bigger antenna. You might be able to get away with a smaller antenna. We live in a very hilly terrain. Honestly, the radio service around here is spotty. Line of sight is very poor. And then when the leaves come out on the trees, it's even worse. If you watch the video that I did a couple weeks ago, when I put the 5.8, 5 dB gain antenna on top of the 4Runner, I was able to get 10.7 miles of range from my 15 watt mobile to Angela's 5 watt portable. Now she has a 15 inch tall extended range antenna on her radio, so that's going to help us out a little bit. Okay, we're at 10.7 miles away, and Angela is, Angela is way, way out there. I'm not even sure you can see the windmills from here, but. She's right, right behind that telephone pole straight in front of us is where she is. So you've got a mountain on the left, you got the little mountain on the right, and then all the way over here you've got Mount Greylock, which is the highest peak in Massachusetts at, I think it's 3,200 feet. All right, let's give it a shot. Sugar, are you there? Okay, I'm at Mount Greylock. You're crystal clear just like last time. I'm going to go ahead and swap the antenna. Okay, Shug, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now, Shug? Shug, are you there? I've got the antenna swapped. Okay. There we are, that's a loss. So we're at 10.7 miles. The 5 8 5 dB work crystal clear. This ghost antenna is a 3 dB. And I'm not even, she can't even hear me. Sugar, are you there? I'm gonna try texting her. Okay, I just texted her, she's not hearing a thing. She just tried calling me back and I can't hear her. So far this ghost antenna is a loss in signal. Let's try it one more time. This is my final test from Mount Greylock. Okay, we knew we were gonna see a loss in performance just because this is a 3 dB gain and the 5 8 big antenna is a 5 db gain antenna so i'm going to go back to i'm going to start working my way back to angela i'm going to stop at the six mile mark so we're going to go four miles closer to her and we were able to talk with her with the big antenna at this spot also so we're going to give that a shot all right we're in the parking lot at my work uh, which is six miles away from Angela.
Can you hear me now? Shug, can you hear me now? This is interesting because this 3DB ghost antenna, if she can't hear me, that means that little rinky-dink antenna that came with the with the radio was actually works better. I'm going to text her and have her go outside. Can you go outside and try it? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? I wonder if the thing is even on right. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? This is crazy. I did not expect this. I was I was a little skeptical at 10.7, but this this means that the little antenna that came with the radio is actually working better than this 3db. I may have made a mistake in doing something here. I'm trying to, I mean, everything is hooked up properly, so I don't know. This is interesting. I'm going to go back with the big antenna. Shug, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Are you inside or outside? I'm still outside. I'm going to go back in. I'm inside there. Okay. There's a lot of static from inside the house, but I can tell that it's you. That time was crystal clear. Okay, what this proves is absolutely nothing. <laughs> All right, um, I've got the little antenna here in my hand. I am six miles away from Angela. The little antenna did not work at six miles and the little antenna did not work at 10.7 miles. I'm gonna put this antenna back on. There's one spot on the way back towards Angela. I'm gonna try it at the airport and then we're gonna go from there. We're gonna go south down to Walmart and we're gonna see if it works down at Walmart. Um, and then we'll switch back to the big antenna if we need to talk to her. The one thing we have going against us is line of sight. And UHF is all about line of sight. Most radios are. We're struggling with line of sight and her on a portable radio right now. But this is real world testing and you can see that the larger antenna works better, which is to be expected. Smaller antenna has a little less performance, which is also to be expected. So now we're gonna go and we're gonna test four miles from Angela, see if that works with this little antenna. Okay, we're at the airport. We're about four miles from Angela and then we're gonna give it a shot. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. Okay, I'm at the airport. So the last test I was at work. So we're at four, I'm four miles from you right now. Just to recap. 
Okay, just to recap, Angela's at home four miles or so away. Uh, she's got a portable radio with a 15 inch tall extended range antenna. And I was able to talk to her with the ghost antenna. So right now with this particular setup and our terrain, four mile range with the larger antenna five eighths wave five db gain antenna our range is 10.7 miles all right so from here we're going to go closer to angela and then we're going to go around the mountain and we're going to head south and i'm going to try to go down to walmart which is i'd say about the same distance we're at now but just on the other side of the mountain and uh we've got some challenges over there on that side with some hills so we're going to try that all right we're at the walmart we're going to give it a try can you hear me from the Walmart? Can you hear me from Walmart? Okay. Not good at the Walmart. See that car dealership straight ahead? I don't know if you can see it. Angela is directly behind that, three, maybe four miles away. But there's a hill. She's on the other side of it. I'm at the Walmart and gave it a try. You didn't hear me? Question mark. So you can hear me okay from Walmart? I can hear you perfectly clear from Walmart. Inside, I'm going outside now. Outside, can you hear me? Yep, you're pretty clear from outside and inside. Not much of a change. That time, it was definitely body when you were talking. Okay, let me switch antennas for a second. Okay, so you probably heard Angela say it's a little bit spotty. Again, her location is not great, so I'm gonna put the other antenna back on. Okay, I've got the big antenna back on. How's that? Very clear. How about me? Yep, same thing. Okay, so from Walmart, um this is a little bit scratchy for angela but the big antenna is crystal clear however i just got off the phone with a friend of mine who is five miles farther away than angela right up the valley he can hear me talking but he cannot talk back to me with his radio which is uh, blister pack uh, radio so he can hear me crystal clear with both antennas. So this is a perfect example of line of sight. And this, this ghost antenna seems to work pretty well, but when you lose line of sight, this thing suffers greatly. Whereas the other antenna has a little more performance. I don't hate this thing, but I, I mean, you can't replace you can't replace that big antenna that I got. It's just the performance on it is nuts. If I was gonna go, if I was gonna travel, I would probably put this on the roof. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some testing with Angela on the way home, some spots that we've never tested before. And then when I get home, I'm gonna put this back on and I'm gonna try to uh, hit that repeater that I did in the last video and we'll see if this works or not. Okay, we're back at the house. Um, I've got the small antenna back on the roof and I'm going to see if I can hit the repeater that I use. If you remember in the last video, I was able to reach the repeater with the bigger antenna. We were able to hit the repeater that time. Whether anybody will talk back to us, I'm not sure. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, this is WROP 867 over in North Adams, Massachusetts, uh, trying out a new antenna. And talk to somebody over in Cohoes. Well, let's see if we could duplicate that. First thing I'm going to do is just key up the radio and see if I can kerchunk the radio, which is which is kind of frowned upon, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, so I can hit the repeater with the 3 dB gain ghost antenna. WROP 867, monitoring Grafton repeater, looking for a radio test. 
Okay, I was able to hit the repeater. I've not received the response. Anybody on the air for a radio test? Not sure I hit the repeater that time. Anybody on the air for a radio test? Okay, I didn't hit. Go ahead and repeat, uh, didn't catch that. Okay, somebody was talking on the repeater, so I can, I can hear the repeater, but we don't have a good connection here. So, okay, uh, so the Ghost Antenna, definitely a loss in performance compared to the 5.8 over 5.8 5 dB gain antenna. That is to be expected because the Ghost Antenna is just a 3 dB gain antenna um, however it does perform pretty well um, so although I, I think I'm going to keep my my larger antenna on the car um, I do believe that the, the ghost antenna does have its place please share a comment hit like do all that stuff leave a good comment bad comment it's all good with me Hopefully this video wasn't too boring for you. The only way we know whether radio stuff, radio equipment works in this area is to just go out and test it. We've got so many hills and just mountainous terrain that it's, uh, it's impossible to, uh, to know what works and what doesn't work unless you get out there and try it. So I appreciate you spending your time with me. Thanks for watching the video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.